No matter how much Twitter complains about it, the president's description of the city of Baltimore is basically accurate. Unfortunately, Baltimore is dirty and dangerous, and many of its residents are poor. Why is that, though? That's the real question. It's not entirely because the city has no money. Over the past decade, for example, the city of Baltimore has received $2.3 billion in federal assistance. Didn't seem to do much, though. Where did that money go? One answer might be corruption. Two of the city's mayors in the past decade have had to resign following corruption scandals. Robert Stokes has seen a lot of this. He's a Baltimore City Councilman, and he's nice enough to join us tonight. We're happy to have him. Mr. Stokes, thanks for coming on. Thank you for inviting me. So um, this is not a, an, an attack on Baltimore. I live near Baltimore, and you know I've always felt sorry for Baltimore. But you have to kind of wonder, what did happen to the $2.3 billion the Fed sent Baltimore over the last 10 years? It's not evident when you drive well, through. Well, I'm actually not here to talk about what happened to the money, what happened, who didn't do what. I'm here to talk about how hard Baltimore City residents take care of their neighborhoods, clean up, those kind of things, and talk about 400 years of structural racism, not just in Baltimore, all over the country for black people. Uh huh. Okay. Um, uh, uh, that's okay. That's, a, that, that's an interesting topic, but I mean, it doesn't quite get to the the key question which is like why have two mayors resigned what happened to the money why is the murder rate higher than you know, almost every country on the planet um like what is the core problem in baltimore do you think the murder rate comes from 400 years of structural racism which leads to poverty which leads uh -huh. to uh, inadequate education what leads to crime and now mental health for 400 years. So the money that we do get from the federal government is just not going to reduce crime or people's need for adequate housing, for apprenticeships to give a livable wage. It's just tough when it's been 400 years. Uh huh. It does seem like, though, when Marilyn Mosby, the prosecutor, stopped prosecuting some crime and instead started going after police officers in the city of Baltimore, the murder rate went up. So racism may or may not be a factor, but this is a black run city and the murder rate went up when crime, when the police stopped addressing crime in the way they had. Do you don't think that's a factor? Yes, but the murder rate went up again because of racism, structural racism. Again, I'm going to keep saying it, 400 years. It leads to crime and poverty and inadequate, inadequate edu education. And Marilyn Mosby talked about marijuana laws. We had a police department that had some issues, some problems. So made, um, Commissioner Harrison is working on that, put some structures in place and holding people accountable in the police department. So if 400 years of structural racism is the cause of the murder rate and the poverty and the filth on the street and the crumbling buildings, I mean, there's not really, and, and you said that federal money doesn't make a dent in it. What you're basically saying is there's no solution. There is a solution. The solution is to, to work with the federal government to give us immediate federal money for infrastructure, for housing, for those persons who are working poor and more technology for our police department. What do you mean? Baltimore's got more abandoned buildings than any city on the eastern seaboard. I mean, you've got more housing than you know yes. what to do with. They're knocking down housing because you don't have enough people because people are fleeing the city. Why would you need more housing? It's the last thing you need. More housing because you have affordable housing, but you have working poor people that cannot afford home ownership. We need people to have some wealth. And if you can't afford a house because you're making $32,000, on a family no, but three. houses are free That's in Baltimore. Was... They're knocking houses down. No, no, they're knocking houses down. You have too many houses, but you're saying the federal government needs to buy more houses for you? N no, I say the federal government needs to give us more money to create more housing opportunities, one, and rehab some of the houses that are actually in the neighborhood, the ones they're knocking down because of the structure is gone. It's, it's not yeah. worth the rehab. It, it is, it's damaged and the structure is gone and create new housing. Okay. Mr. Stokes, I appreciate your coming on tonight. Those don't seem like solutions to me, but it was nice of you to, to explain them anyway. I appreciate it. Thanks. How you doing, sir? How you doing? I know my light. <coughs> you got a couple lights out. No, I only got one.
got one. Now you got Can two. Sure. Why can't you? I'm Councilman Stokes. How you doing, Councilman Stokes? I ain't know the lie. I know it was one out somebody just told me. This one was out, right? Yeah, that one's out. You got a tag light out. No, I ain't see you that. didn't stop at the stop sign. Oh, I didn't. You failed to use a turn signal. Oh, okay. oh, Quite a few things. Stop. You've had a couple drinks tonight? Oh, yes, you have. I had one beer. I don't believe that. Okay. You can go ahead and have a seat in the car, sir. Sure. If I can give you your license and registration, that'd be great. Registration, please. Can I see? Yeah. Okay, bye-bye. Adam 3-3. Where are you headed, Mr. Stokes? Right here. Yeah. Right here? McElderry. Right there. On McElderry? Yeah. Alright, I'll be right back with you, sir. Yes, sir. Mr. Stokes, where are you a councilman? 12th district. 12th? No, I don't need, I don't need you no, to show I me. Need, no. I, sir, I don't need you to show me anything. I'm just asking, asking you. So you're I, asking me and you're going to tell me where at. I just asked you what, what, well, which one? Tell what you think. I'm just making it up. I'm not. I didn't ever accuse you of making it up, no. sir. There's my card. Here you go, Mr. Stokes. There's legal parking right here. Okay. What are you, what are you talking about? So, th this 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 car stop can go one of two ways. I can either write, give you this verbal warning that I have in my hand about you failing to stop at that stop sign. You can park your car right here. And then I don't, I don't. Why well, I gotta park my sir, car? Right sir, here. are you gonna listen to me? Okay. You can park your car right here, okay? Mm -hmm. And then you can feel free to either walk down to your girlfriend's house and stay there, or call yourself an Uber and get home. Well, I'm not drunk, sir. Sir, I can smell a very strong odor of alcohol. I had a glass sir, of wine. Sir, it. You, okay. for, back right. at the back of the car, I'll you told me it was a beer. Now I'm here at the side of the car. You told okay. me you had a glass. Okay, of, no, no, no. This is what I'm going to say, Mr. St Mr. Stokes. If, if you want, if, if you want to argue about this, what I'll do is I'll get back in my car. I'll call someone that is field sobriety trained, and I'll have them come run you through I'll a field say, sobriety I'll test. Take the okay. So okay. if you're going to take the warning, what you're going to do is you're going to take your car. You're going to park it at one of these spots right here. Okay. And you're going to find another way to get home. Okay. Fair enough. Good enough? Yes, sir. Have a good night. Please, sir. I want some more. What?